Cancer, it's your Midnight Maven here, your spiritual media correspondent, and I'm here coming to you from the heavens to deliver this heavenly message. Now, automatically off jump, off sight, I got uh, the octopus for you out of the Animal Spirit Guidebook, Animal Spirit Oracle Deck, not Guidebook. Anyways, and the, the song of the week uh, occurred to me, which was Meet Me Halfway by uh, Black Eyed Peas. Um, because, okay, so let, let me first read the octopus. Reaching, yearning, lacking boundaries and direction, much like a cancer. No offense, I'm a Leo, I'm the opposite. You guys are all about the feels. We're all about the do's and the passion. You guys are about the feels and the having if you will. Uh, yeah, the octopus signifies a wonderfully perceptive mind paired with a lack of unhealthy boundaries. I mean, paired with a lack of healthy boundaries. That would be a double negative if I said paired with a lack of unhealthy boundaries. That would be healthy boundaries. Unfortunately, this results in well-intended but messy relationships. So well-intentioned but messy relationships is because is it lying by omission that you can actually get the job done or that you know that you can fulfill it within a certain amount of time but have every intention, genuine intention to actually do it this time? So say if an ex wants to take you back, something like that, um, they might have every intention to do the right things but just might not be able to make that ship when it comes in because your ships are coming in way faster than theirs is or theirs could be. Do you see how that that's the loophole right there that you get fucked even though they have the best of intentions and then you get left behind because you're in a ship or a boat off the Titanic that's meant to go further than them. You're not with their timeline. You're on a different timeline. So as great as um, it all may be, you need to have them meet you halfway. Meet me halfway, black eyed peas, meet me halfway. That is imperative and that is uh, paramount in this time. Cap. Cancer. I just did Capricorn, so forgive me. The octopus entwines itself into other people's business and shares their own without restraint. They believe that's what it means to be close, is no boundaries, which, you know most codependent relationships are like that so you know i've been in a couple of one two seven nineteen in my day they believe that it's what it means to be close if you notice after spending time with somebody that you feel drained uneasy the essence of the octopus is at play begin to establish healthy boundaries be patient and firm it may be a very old habit to change like second nature to just like almost like Munchausen's or, or, or Stockholm syndrome or something like that. When, you know, the captor starts to fall in love with the kid napper, you know what I mean? Like where they're like, Oh, he loves me so much that he decided to put all this on the line. And it's like, no bitch. He had, you were his last result and you were a fetishized thing to him. So have more respect for yourself and meet them, make sure they meet you halfway. So whatever effort or equity you put into this relationship, make sure that you're getting at least half of that back, or at least they show you. So make no efforts. You need to release them from your mind and go about your business like they, like they never existed. I'm not saying shut them out of your life, but make sure with every text, with every call, whatever, that they're hanging on your word, not playing a game, but that you're never caught in that cycle of having to wait for their response because then you will lose. Let them bringeth to you all that they need to bringeth if this is gonna be worth it or you know the exception to the rule. When in balance, you're interested, engaged, and intelligent. When out of balance, you are needy, clingy, and lacks courage. What, to bring into balance, it says, space to oneself, talk, and therapy. 
So whether you have a therapist, a shrink, uh, or what have you, uh, being able to be alone by yourself, being able to be with the quiet, being able to stare at a mirror, being able to look at yourself on camera, like record yourself, then look at yourself and not cringe. Um, being able to talk, enunciate these words, because life and death is in the power of the tongue. Ah, I had to, I'm sorry. Um, and talk therapy, just talking to yourself, going, oh, we've been through this before. Even if you're having like anxiety day, just be like, we got this, okay, we've already done this, like this specific thing. It's gonna look crazy to people, but who fucking cares, you know? Anyway, you got the octopus, so you can put, as long as you put your feelers out there in the right way, you'll be right on point. But the minute you start hanging on to whatever is around, your arms will be ripped off and you'll just be one of those weird like little head thingies. You'll just look like a dildo floating out in the ocean. So we got the Fool and the Knight of Cups in the reverse. A lot of this, pretty much your whole set is in the reverse. So it's your old way of thinking, it's your new way of thinking, new way and love way of thinking. The only thing that was upright was the tower and the strength card. The strength card is at the center of the the um, reading, which means that that's, that's right here in your solar plexus or your sacral chakra. So it's the last thing that's it's rooting, keeping you not down, but grounded. In your higher self, you have the Ten of Coins in reverse. <clears throat> so you know something's not right. Like, it's all... The foundation is put on some pretty shitty mortar. Or pretty shitty, like, landslide kind of foundation. In the recent past, we have the Three of Coins in the reverse. So we know that we weren't working with the right people. Whether it was financially or in the home. And in the near future, we're going to have the four of wands in the reverse. So there's going to be a breaking of you and a company, uh, whether it be, you know, financially in the home or family wise. Your uh, how you see yourself is the ace of coins in the reverse and a Capricorn or who got this. Somebody just got this just recently. Uh, you see yourself starting to go, oh shit, like I'm starting to lose my balance, my grip on life, everything that I've worked so hard for, and here comes the tower. And this is how everybody sees you. And so it makes it that, it makes it that much worse that everybody's seeing this, this, uh, this destruction of the Four of Wands. They're seeing this tower upright, and you're scared because you see yourself losing everything that you've worked so hard for. It's kind of traumatizing. And therefore, the Palace of Cups is where you want to be because that's where you're. That's where you live. You feel um, ostracized from the place that ch it, that is your very home by your birthright. In the final card, we have the Eight of Coins. That's the, the card of working hard and uh, doing your craft. It's in the reverse, though. So. That doesn't mean that you're not willing to work hard or that you don't want to work hard. It means that you're too focused on other things like the dismantling of your palace of love, your palace of dreams, 48 meters under the sea. And you're not honing your craft on whatever it is that you do. You know, um, like just bring it where they're like, um, just bring it, bring what? It. What is it? It's just what we bring. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I quote movies and music if you're new to this. Um, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Coins. So, you know, you and Toto had big dreams. But it's time to scratch those out because now it's time to put our feelers onto other things. Because right now, we're scraping the barrel. And we need to reach up. You know, because right now we're a lot of plankton, a lot of a lot of sea cockroaches. I can't believe that shrimp is a sea cockroach. So let's get some verifiers. Please tell us what we need. Angels, ancestors, and ascendants. <laughs> uh, four of cups. We need to. We need four of cups. I guess it's. 
reassess what lights us up. You have anything more to say about that? Angels, ancestors, and ascendants? Please give us. Hi, baby. The hermit card in the reverse. Hermit in the reverse. What that's telling me is your I what I see is somebody sitting at home watching the tower coming over them and dread and everything and going, it's all over, I'm done, I'm ruined, oh my god, this cancer is done. And then this light of God is going, Simba, that's her name by the way, come to me. And then he comes in the clouds and it's Mufasa. And he tells you, we've got a lot of motherfucking work to do, bitch. Get your ass up and let's show up and show out. So let's get us one last card from our angels and ancestors. By the way, thank you, angels, ancestors, and ascendants for guiding us with your sight, cloaking us with your protection, and loving us with your mind, if that rhymed at all. Star Ancestor. Well, go figure. Star Ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. So it could be these angels, ancestors, and ascendants, your, your, your past generational ones that are guiding you. Your, your guardian angels, pretty much. Great teacher, learn from the great teacher learn from spiritual experiences so that could be some sort of kundalini that could be some sort of um yoga nidra there could be some sort of um uh indian peyote thing or whatever i'm not going to pretend like i know exactly what that entails but there's a lot to be said and there's a lot to be done with that let's get one more from the angels and uh, angels and ancestors this is the angels and ancestors this is the romance angels too many angels stuff between the prayer and all that other shit I'm getting marble mouthed getting to know each other as you reveal your inner worst selves to each other your bond deepens so right now like even the conversation that me that you and I are having as we reveal, as we, as we get deeper and deeper, it becomes more real. Because I ain't going nowhere. You want to hit me up? Andrewsfer at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook. I ain't going anywhere. I'm real. I'm here. I'm not a fly-by-night. I'm not here. Yeah, I'm here to make money. But I know that's not going to be at least a year from now. So right now, I just got to prove myself to people. So if anybody can tell you and anybody is... Uh, qualified to say that you got a lot of good stuff coming kid it's me thank you so much everybody say goodbye Simba. okay she's not gonna do that she's sleeping already uh but yeah like share subscribe don't be a motherfucking hater or else you go to hell okay bye